So Assassin's Creed Valhalla has been out for a little while now, and since its release, uh, I've been taking the time to play alongside Black Ops Cold War and Spider-Man Miles Morales, but unlike those two games, I'm not going to be making a review for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I I'm actually making a video similar to my Ubi, um, not Ubisoft one, my Watch Dogs Legion one from uh, about a month ago at this point, because... I, I refuse to finish this game, to be perfectly honest, and the reason why I refuse to finish it is because this shit is too boring. It's way too boring for me to finish. I've put 36 hours into, into this shit, and at this point, I can't force myself to continue playing it. It's just way too grindy, and I just want to at least talk about the game for a video because it's like, I, I spent the $60, I'm gonna make some form of content out of it. You know, I wanna make one video out of it at the very least. And it's like, if I were to continue forcing myself to play it, to the point to where I'm finally done with it so that I can do a review. It's like, that wouldn't be fair to myself. That wouldn't be fair to the channel, I don't think. And it wouldn't be fair to you guys watching because it's like, I don't want to make you guys wait for something that's ultimately not going to be worth watching. So instead, I'm just making a, a regular talk or rant video, wherever the fuck I place this in, whatever playlist, we'll see. I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to think too deep into shit like this, but um, let's just get into it. So I want to talk about the positives because there's much positive here, okay? As flawed as this game is, underneath all the bullshit, there is a truly great game. There is a true gem of an Assassin's Creed title. So let me talk about the positives because I, I really like them. First off, I like the story that's here. I like the cast of characters. I like Eivor as a protagonist. I like his, uh, the other characters like Sigurd, for example, um, Ivor, and a plethora of others. There's a lot of characters here because of the narrative stru uh, structure, which I'll get into in a little while, but... I'm really, I'm really digging the cast of characters here, and the true story beats here that actually matter, which I will also get into, the ones that truly matter here actually feel important. It feels like there's a reason to play it because of that. And um, I'm also really digging the whole uh, vibe and aesthetic of uh, Valhalla. Like, sure, the map has a, a lot of empty space. Personally, it's too big in my opinion. There, there's just no reason for it to be this big. It's like, what's the point? There's not enough quality content to fill out a map this fucking enormous. But I'll get into that in the negatives. But it's just the map on its own, the variety of locations, that's pushing it. <laughs> um, All in all, I definitely do like the vibe. I, look the, I like the look of it. But I'm also going to get into that a little bit more. This is just one of those games where it feels like for every good thing, there's also a flaw along with it. And um, I can't really think of much other... Oh, wait. I'm also really uh, a fan of the raids. Those are a lot of fun. The combat is definitely pretty fun. You know, fucking uh, other people up and cutting their heads off and dismembering their limbs. That's all... It's all a blast. Like, this game definitely has fun factor. And, uh, like, th there's some really cool action scenes. Just seeing all these people fighting in this massive battle as you run through it. Finally seeing this happen after having been mes uh, misled, misled uh, astray about it with trailers like Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 3's reveal trailer where they showed this big ass battle in the Revolutionary War which never actually properly happened in the game. The fact that we're finally at the point where this thing, this sort of thing is actually happening in, Assass in an Assassin's Creed game is so fucking nice to see. And, um, I'm also a really big fan of the music. I think the the soundtrack here is fucking sick. Like, it, it just, it's so satisfying to listen to. It just adds to the immersion. It just feels great. It, it just really makes you feel like a Viking. It truly makes you feel like you're you're in the Viking times. It really makes you feel like you're, cut, you're cutting the heads off of the Order. The Ancient Order, not not Templar's Order, which I'm also getting to that because that annoys me a little bit too. At this point, this is starting to annoy me a lot, honestly. But all in all, that's really all the good I can say because all of this is just dragged down by so many fucking flaws which have no reason to be here. First off, the thing that probably pisses me off the most is the stamina system. I fucking hate the stamina system in this game. And the thing is... Th this affects not only your character, but it also affects your horse. So if you're trying to really run to a location, you know, you're really trying to gallop there as fast as possible because you kind of just want to get to the mission. 
Y you sprint for too long? Nope, sorry, the horse has got to take a moment to slow down and walk slowly, gallop very slowly. Come on, come on, you're okay. Instead of just da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, like you fucking want to do, you know, like in Ghost of Tsushima, which I'm gonna make a few comparisons to that game in this video, don't you worry. Because that game does so many more things, just in general, it does so much better than this. I don't like comparing shit, but it's Ubisoft, so they'll be okay. Um, so yeah, that's just an annoying thing with the horse stamina. Well, but what's probably more annoying is your own stamina system, because... You see, your stamina, your stamina system affects everything within combat. Not just hitting, not just blocking, but also dodging. And the thing is, Eivor moves pretty fast. You're just gonna be like, zoo, 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 constantly as you're fighting. But the thing is, especially as you continue upgrading and gaining new abilities and powers and strengths and all that, it, it can sometimes feel a little hard to control Eivor, at least for me. It's like... One minute, I'll be hitting an enemy here. Next, I'll be in, I'll be hitting an enemy there. Just pew, pew, pew. I'm not trying to. It's just, even with the lock on, I'm just fucking hitting different people. Like, it becomes so ridiculous that I'll end up fucking hitting and killing innocents sometimes when I'm not even intending to. Like, it's so fucking annoying. Like, the game is punishing, punishing me for something I'm not trying to do. I'm trying to hit enemies. It's not my fault the fucking dumbass AI is in the way of where I'm trying to aim at. And then it's like, because you're constantly missing, it leads to you losing stamina, which leads to you not having a way to properly defend yourself against enemies, and then you're getting damaged because of it. And it's just fucking annoying. Like, this this is such an unnecessary addition. Who thought this was a good idea? Like, obviously they can't get rid of it now, but I seriously hope this shit's gone in the next game because I fucking cannot stand it. Another thing I can't stand that's a very unnecessary addition to this game is the way it'll turn finding a location on the map into a fucking puzzle. Why do I need to try to figure out where exactly I need to go on the map without even a waypoint to show me? Because this happens sometimes where characters will be like, okay, go to that location on this road there, up the mountain, jump off the fucking hill, uh, land on your ass, and then go down there in the hole. Like, I don't know what that means. Just put on a waypoint to show me where the fuck to go. I don't care to figure this shit out. Just show me where exactly to go in the fucking game. The map's big enough as is. I don't care. And that's something else I'm about to say that I need to talk about that I mentioned before. This map's too big. Like, it's so obvious they're making it big for the sake of being big. Like, <clears throat> guys, I get it. Y you want to give people a reason to think the game's worth 60, but if you focus so much on quantity that you forget that you end up forgetting the quality, then it's not going to matter. Because this game has such a bloating issue on top of that. There's so much use useless fucking content here that just doesn't matter at all. It has no purpose whatsoever. Like, why is this content here? Like, do, do I really have a purpose for going to these hundreds upon hundreds of different loot chests around the game just to get some mediocre fucking content from it? What's the point? There should... Like, why? There's no reason. Like, it's so obvious that they're trying so hard to, get, to make people think the game's worth 60 when, really, the game's content is worth only 30 hours at most. To me, Assassin's Creed game should be no longer than 30 hours if you're talking about the story. If you're including side content, at most 50. Assassin's Creed, to me, those games, this series, even though I'm a fan, honestly, I don't think any game is good enough. Well, most games, unless the quality there is good enough. I don't. I just don't think most games in the series have an, a high enough level of quality to be any more than 30 to 50 hours. Like, after after that, they just start fucking dragging on and just becoming annoying and just just frustrating to play. Like, it just becomes old after a while. This is, this is the main reason why I haven't played Odyssey yet, because I've heard that the game's such a fucking grind to get through with just the story alone, and... If I'm forced to play all this content I don't care about, then why the fuck would I ever want to even touch the game? Give me a straightforward story with actual quality and substance, and then I'll play it. Like, I'm not gonna force myself to sit through fucking 50 hours of boring ass monotonous gameplay that, that is just side content turned into main story content. Because that's the thing about this game, the story structure. The story structure is based on alliances where you go to different um, tribes, and from there, you cooperate with them, and you form allegiances with them. And the whole point of the game is that by the end, you've overtaken all of England. Which, on paper, that's a pretty cool idea. And intertwining it with the story also seems like a good idea, but just because it's a good idea on paper does not mean the execution is going to be good also. For the fact that, um... 
This story is basically nothing but but filler aside from some good moments. The actual good bits are like 20 hours. Everything else for the most part is just very forgettable. It's just very pointless because you're forced to do basically every single fucking area in the game when most of these don't even add to the story at all. Why am I forced to go to this one kingdom when it does nothing for me? Like there's one location that you go to like, I think that's called Vernon something. I, I don't remember. I already forgot what the fuck it's called. But you go there for two missions just to assass assassinate someone and then you come back to the main England map. Like, what's the point? That added nothing to the story. There's no reason for it. And the fact that you have to go through 50 hours of the shit? Nah. Nah, miss me that bullshit. I'm not doing that. I'm not wasting my time. I'm, I'm not gonna sit here through hours of bloated content. I just don't have the time for that shit. And, and this is such a problem with Ubisoft games in general. They are so overbloated. Ubisoft has no understanding of quality and quantity. Like, guys, I get that you want to give people a, a true $60 experience because it's AAA and it has to have hundreds of hours of content, but it's not necessary. Like, if it's just going to be boring content, don't put it in, okay? It's fine to have a game that's only 50 hours long. It's perfectly fine. All together, that is perfectly fine. If it means having nothing but pure quality for the, for the whole experience, then that's okay. That's okay, you guys have done this in the past. Remember Assassin's Creed 2? That shit was at most 35 hours long, at least according to how long to beat it is. And I remember when I played that game for the first time, I basically 100%ed it because the, the quality there was so high, the content was so great, that I truly felt like there was a purpose for doing all of it. Sure, I didn't collect all the flags throughout the entire map, but I did everything else. The tombs, the side missions, the races, everything because it was all great. It was a true quality product for the price that it was going at. It was $60 well spent. And sure, that was a different time. Games are a lot bigger now. But I would argue that just because games are bigger does not mean they're better. Games do, do not need to be as big as they are in most cases. Most games to me, not even just Assassin's Creed, specifically when it comes to open world games, most games have no reason to be more than 50, to, like 40 to 50 hours long. Maybe even 30 to 20 to be perfectly honest because most of the content is fucking dribble. Most of it is trash. Most of it is fucking worthless and adds nothing to the fucking experience. So why even have, have it there? It's not gonna make it seem like it's worth more than it actually is. Trash content is still trash content. That's really all it is. Just give us a solid $40 to $50 proper Assassin's Creed experience and we'll be good, guys. We'll be good, fam. We'll be good. That's all we need. You don't need to bloat it with all sorts of pointless, meaningless shit. And I don't want to be forced to do side content. Again, see, a big complaint of Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey was that there was too much side content. So what do they do? They decided to turn that side content into main story content. And that's basically all the allegiances. Just going back to that real quick. Like, I don't want to do this. I just want to focus on Eivor's story. I don't care about all these different fucking stories with all these unique characters for this certain location. I just want to focus on Eivor's story and seeing where the overall Assassin's Creed mythology goes from here. That's what I care about. And I think at this point, we're going to be past the point of the Hidden Ones and Ancient Order era because I just want to say something about that real quick. I'm so tired of that. I'm tired of being called the hit, uh, called a hidden one and any enemies being the ancient order. I miss assassins and templars, okay? That it's not a big deal, but it just it fucks up the whole vibe for me. It fucks with the vibe. It 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 doesn't have that true assassins vibe without hearing the word assassin thrown around like a fucking boomerang, like a frisbee, okay? I miss it. I miss the term assassin being thrown around. I miss hearing the word templar. I miss this shit. Please, please, please you be soft for the next Assassin's Creed game. Can we please be a fucking assassin again? I'm so tired of not being an assassin. Okay, again, I didn't play Odyssey, but knowing the fact that it's not, it doesn't really even have Assassin's Creed elements, elements in it, just going off of research I've done, it's like, what's the point? It's almost as pointless as the RPG elements in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah, uh, Assass Assassin's Creed nowadays has this fetish for being an RPG, which it's fine. It definitely works, mostly, but... It's like, what's the point of all these options? Just keep it to a fucking skill tree. Like, sure, the writing in the main story is pretty good, along with a lot of side content. But it's like, a lot of these options just feel like they're here for the sake of being here. It's like, what is this fucking Fallout 4? Come on, guys. Like, can you give us some actual quality here? I just don't see a reason for it. Like, cool, for every level, which, 
you, you unlock two skill levels for, which thankfully it goes by quickly with leveling up. It's like, still, the fact that you have to be this certain level to get through the game, or you'll get annihilated in that level, it's like, why? I don't want to do this other content, I just want to focus on the story. Why am I, why am I being punished for not wanting to do any anything else but the main story content? Why? Like, I hate that shit. Like, why do you have to be a certain level to do this content in the game? That's fucking annoying to me. I get it's a part of some RPGs, but it's fucking annoying nonetheless. Like, don't, don't have the leveling system be intertwined with the story of the game. Please. It's so annoying when games do that. I'm so fucking over it. Like, have the RPG elements. That's perfectly fine. But for the next game, can we just have a quality game where it's at most 30 to 40 hours long? with maybe a few extra hours of side content and that's it, please. Because even though the raids, for example, again, are fun, even that gets fucking old after a while. It just becomes so tedious. And it's like, after the after the first 20 hours, you know what the rest of the game is going to be. And that doesn't even include some, like, the bugs I, I haven't mentioned. Like, I got the shit for PS4. I could have gotten it for PC, but considering how garbage Watchdog Legions was on PC, I refused to buy this game for PC as well. And even on PS4, this shit runs like fucking trash. The optimization is terrible here. Like, in in the first 23 hours, the game ran pretty okay for me. Aside from some frame rate drops, but it, it was mostly good. But then from there, out of nowhere, in the last few hours of the game, from hours 23 to 36, out of nowhere, it's like, I have nothing but a fuck ton of glitches randomly. Like, I'm getting stuck on shit that I can't move from. Like, the AI isn't properly coming up to help me take down this door so we can get in for this raid. Like, what are you doing standing there? Help me open the fucking door! I've, I've, I've called on you, like, five fucking times now. What are you doing, you dumbass? Like, God, the AI is so fucking stupid in this game. It's ridiculous. Like, it's just so annoying. And also, the game crashed on me four fucking times. This is... This is on consoles. PS4. Ubisoft, you care more about consoles than PC, like, that's very obvious, so, why is this port so fucked up? Oh, wait, I get it, because you're all about the Series X and PS5 ports, which is important, but the PS4 and Xbox One versions are also very important for the fact that that's what most people are going to be on, whether it be the base or the pro version. I'm on the base version because I never got a pro PS4. I got my PS4 in early 2016, only months before the fucking pros announced, so that definitely wasn't a, wasn't a fucking... Uh, adding salt to the wound. Anyways, um, <laughs> so yeah, this shit is just fucking broken. Like, I've had to shut it off and turn it on multiple times. It's fucking unacceptable. And the fact that I see so many people defending this by saying they're gonna put out patches fucking pisses me off. Like, you shouldn't accept the fact that it's broken. That's like buying a car without a fucking engine. No, you should expect the shit to work right, right when you get it, because you're buying a product. Just like how Origins worked. Origins had nowhere near as many issues as this. Albeit, the PC optimization wasn't that good. But, there, there wasn't any glitches or anything like that that ruined it. There wasn't any times the game just fucking crashed on me. And that's another example. Assassin's Creed Origins just handled a, a good balance of quality and quantity so much better. I spent about 32 hours in the game going off of what my save profile said. And you know what? I felt like my time was worth spending. It felt exciting. Mainly because it was just cool seeing the origins of the Assassin's Order, but still, it, it was just, it was time well, it was time well spent. And this game, it, it just, it just wasn't ready for release. Valhalla should have been delayed. This shit was nowhere near ready. The fact that it's so broken, all the dumb decisions made with it, like, there's so much wrong with this game. There's a truly great game, a true gem hidden under all the flaws, but, man, th this shit sh needed to bake in the oven for a little bit more, because it clearly was not ready. And um, I hope that Ubisoft takes the time to properly reevaluate because this is not it. They've been taking nothing but L's this year. When it comes to Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, sexual harassment, like, they've been taking nothing but L's. And uh, you guys really need to work on your quality because having two not so good games in a row is pretty annoying. And um, if this bloated content bullshit that they're on is what the future of their games hold, then I'm out. Like, I'm done with with Assassin's Creed and all their other franchises because I, I can't keep wasting my time dealing with over bloated games like this. I, I don't I don't have any time for that shit. I don't have the tolerance to get through it anymore. I just don't. I don't. I'm over it. I'm done with it. I'm throwing it away. I'm taking the key and I'm throwing it away in the fucking trash for it to never be seen again. In general, I'm just tired of open world games being needlessly big. Like most of you games have no reason to be more than 50 fucking hours. 
or even 20 to be honest like calm the fuck down no one cares about how big your fucking map is Th that gimmick no longer works on people it's old it's almost as old as a game being announced as a live service title no one cares anymore okay we saw how great that turned out for avengers no one cares it's done with it's over we don't give a shit people just don't care just give us quality products that don't take too long or don't take as long as they should. Because only a few games out there have any reason to have, like, 60 hours of content or more. Like, Ghost of Tsushima. Like, sure, there was definitely some filler there, but all in all, the game was great. It could be beaten within 30 hours, and, uh, that's about as much time as I spent, and I was very satisfied because of it. I fucking love that game. Ubisoft, please take some cues from... Uh, Sucker Punch Productions, because right now they're beating you at your own shit, just being perfectly honest. They're doing a far better job at being Assassin's Creed, because with that game, at the very least, you could actually stealth it. You can't properly stealth in Assassin's Creed anymore. It pisses me off. Like, y you'll be trying to stealth, and your dumbass AI partner will get you exposed, and you'll have to fight all the fucking enemies in the town. Like, I don't care. Fuck you. Like, I just want to do the story. Why am I being spotted? I need to escort this dumbass AI who's about to fall on the ground again because they're stupid and can't walk. Get him a fucking wheelchair or something. I don't know. I I'm just annoyed, bro. I'm just over these big-ass titles. Like, stop. Just stop it. So, yeah. There you go. That's my feelings on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. All in all, I don't recommend buying this game for full price. If you're going to get it, wait for a discount. It's Black Friday, so maybe right now is a good time too, as long as it's like $30 or less, I want to say. Um, so yeah, like, it, unless you can handle the very tedious grind of 60-hour games, which add nothing to the game and serve no purpose to your experience, then just don't bother. But if you do, if you are into that shit, then this game's right up your alley. <laughs> so yeah, um, there you go. <laughs> That's my feelings on Valhalla. That's what I wanted to say. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for future content coming soon, as well as make sure to turn on the notification bell so that you hopefully get some videos, and I'll see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.